Today I want to show you the most beautiful thing I know that makes fire. Hi, Dad. <laughs> I also want to show you this absolutely gorgeous Coco Bolo fire piston. Let's see if this pretty fire piston can make fire. I've already loaded the end of the piston with some char cloth. It's so bright out here today that I can barely see the ember glowing. But it ignited on the first try. Yep, this beautiful fire piston does indeed make nice fire. Let's go inside and talk about it. Let me tell you a little bit more about my nicest, at least prettiest fire piston. I was feeling a bit indulgent after Christmas this past year. It's currently February of 2023. I was feeling a little bit indulgent with my Christmas money and I bought this for myself as somewhat of a, a late Christmas present. Um, this fire piston is made by a company called Wilderness Solutions. I've got some notes here that I'm going to read from just to make sure I get all of my facts straight. It's made by a company called Wilderness Solutions. They've got a website, and I'll put a link to the website down in the description below. I bought this, however, on eBay. I bought it from a vendor known as Tenderlight. T-I-N-D-E-R-L-I-T-E, -E, all lowercase, all jammed together. They've got an eBay store. I'll put a link to the eBay store down in the description as well. I think Tenderlight is Wilderness Solutions. It's either, it's either an authorized vendor on eBay or it's the actual Wilderness Solutions folks themselves that, uh, that sell on eBay. All in, I paid $64.50 for this fire piston. They sell an even more expensive one. Uh, it goes for about $20 more. It's made out of buffalo horn. It's all black, it's nice and shiny, it's really very pretty. But this is the one I wanted. It's made out of cocoa bolo exotic wood. It's very nicely made. I keep telling myself it's a functional work of art. Clearly, this has all been made out of a single piece of wood. The grain from the knob and the sheath that wraps the uh, cylinder all match up. Very nice. I don't know what kind of finish has been applied to the wood, but it looks like some sort of protective finish has been applied. And it comes with this leather strap. I, I don't know what you do with this. It's not really long enough to put over your neck. I may put a, a different paracord necklace on this at some point. This is supposed to be the second generation of this fire piston. And I think the, the pressure release valve down in the bottom of the cylinder is patented or at least patent pending. If you turn it about a half a turn, you can remove the piston. And if you tighten it back up, it gets a really very good seal. Really very good seal. Very good seal. Loosen that pressure relief valve up on the bottom. Press it in, tighten it back up. It's not going to go anywhere. It's good for storage. What I don't know 
is if uh, over the long term storing the piston uh, down in the cylinder will have any uh, detrimental effects on the, uh, the O-ring. The piston itself is about three inches long and it's uh, uh, right at about three-eighths of an inch in diameter. It's got a, a brass piece down at the bottom. It's very nicely fitted. It's a single O-ring design and it's got a pretty functional little divot on the end. I should say, I've never mentioned this in my other fire piston videos, but you've probably seen me dig something out, I dig the ember out of the, of the piston when I'm getting ready to ignite my tinder bundles. I do this with a, a slightly unbent paper clip. All of my fire piston kits have a, a paper clip in them. I, I thought I'd just mention that because I don't think I've ever discussed it before. But uh, back to the fire piston. It's very nice, works very well. It came in a, a kit with some pieces, came with some little package of char cloth. I have bought several different fire kits over the years and a lot of the char cloth that comes with the fire kits is barely usable if that. This is actually pretty good stuff. It looks like it's either canvas or maybe denim. It's, it's, I'm not gonna get it out because it'd just make a mess. But it looks like if I unrolled it, maybe it'd be about a foot long and maybe an inch and a half wide. Looks like it's either maybe denim or canvas. It, it works actually very well. The, the fire I made outside, I use this stuff. It's really good. It came with a, uh, a package in a Ziploc baggie of what I think is maybe raw jute. Don't know for sure, but I didn't use this in the, in the demonstration outside, but this, is, this looks like some really good stuff. Uh, came with a couple of spare O-rings, only one for each, so I hope I don't Hope I don't wear those O-rings out because I've only got one backup each. And it came with a little insert with some instructions on how to use it and make, uh, make char cloth. Uh, go watch a YouTube video for how to use a fire piston and how to make char cloth. And all of it came in this plastic bag, which I'm going to get rid of. And as soon as this video is over, I'm going to upgrade to this nice Crown Royal bag. A uh, different video for another day. Anyhow... There's my very pretty Wilderness Solutions fire piston. I know what you're asking right now is, is it worth it? Is it worth the money I paid? I don't know. As a, as a functional work of art, probably that'll be around for generations. It might be something I give to a, a grandchild someday. From that point of view, this is nice. I mean, it's probably, without a doubt, the nicest fire piston that I own. The, the seal is impeccable. The wood's beautiful. It's really super nice. On the other hand, it doesn't work any better or worse than any of the other fire pistons I've got. Uh, if you're just looking for a fire piston to, to buy and take with you into the woods, there are a lot less expensive fire pistons that I could recommend. Uh, if you've got spare parts in your basement, you can make one on your own. Um, I don't know, if you're feeling a little indulgent, you got a little uh, coin to spare, this might scratch your itch. Uh, if you're looking to save some money, something less expensive will probably do just as well. Uh, you get to decide. Anyhow, I guess that's really all I've got to say about this one. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.